That is a pretty tall package. I wonder what that could be. I really need to reprint my uh, post sign. The only thing you can still see is UPS. It's a uh, brick little box where they can put packages so they're out of view and just a little bit safer from the weather or whatnot. Anyway, let's get, uh, let's get this thing inside. Hi, I'm Nick D. Hold on a sec. That's a bit better. Hi, hi, I'm Nick D. Clements. And I used to make stuff like this. All right, this is the uh, light bulb screen. And speaking of screens, I figured I'd leave this one up today, just feeling the uh, fireplace as it is. As you see, I do a cover photo for our fireplace, which is uh, pretty ridiculous, but it's pretty fun. I do different themes when I'm up for decorating for the holidays. Um, and it is actually raised up off the wall. There are actually two vents here. Not that, that we ever use the fireplace, but if we did, those vents are, uh, are still ventable. In fact, I have my old plasma TV in front of the fireplace, and around Christmas time, I just play a fake fire on the screen instead of using a real fire, just because it's doing a fireplace is, is too much work, and it's dangerous, and you know. Anyway, today is about this. The new screen is over there, still in the tube. I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, I want to see what I'm dealing with as far as this screen. So I'm going to start taking it apart and seeing how uh, complex the mechanism is and if it's something I think I can just put the new screen into or if I'm going to want to cut the screen off and then attach the new screen to the remaining piece that's cut off. I'm also not sure whether having it fully extended or all rolled up is better. I think rolled up for, for right now is better since it won't have any tension on it or it shouldn't have much of any. Oh, that's, that's probably not good. Okay, so you can just slide it out now. You like to go back now. Okay, that's, that's not too bad, I don't think. So it's all kind of contained inside this pipe and the screen is literally just glued on to this pipe. And so I should be able to retension that a little bit, just roll it up, put it back in, and it should work fine. Should, 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 should. It looks like I can actually just peel this one right off. That's cool. Oops. Well, that was... Okay, I'm just gonna cut off this part and then peel off the rest. All right, well, that means I still have a really nice big sheet of vinyl, which is the screen black and white sheet of vinyl, which I can certainly reuse. And of course, I still have my handmade version two print of the bulb, which is still in decent condition. We'll set this aside for now. Finish peeling the rest of this off. Get off the bigger chunks. It's 
it's almost satisfying. I think that's about good enough. Another win for the uh, pocket Stanley blade. Great, great knife. All right, let's see how uh, let's see how the screen came out. That is so nice. Definitely the quality I've come to expect from post-up stands. And I don't want to crease it or bend it, but it's giant. Okay, so they rolled it up the short way, which makes sense. Look at that. Oh man, that is so nice and clean. That came out so good. It is a little bit wide, so I do have to trim. Dang. Tapered down a little bit at the end. Uh, and that is just the right size. So, put it on there. I think I'm gonna use my uh, 3M90 because it is yet to fail me. Some paper here. I'll put down. So when I was doing the first version and I was using tissue paper sheets in between each application of the spray adhesive, uh, this would be a great alternative to that. A roll of this stuff is like $2 and there's a ton on here. So this would probably be even more cost effective than the tissue paper, assuming whatever you're spraying will fit on this area. So if you're doing something bigger, sheets of tissue paper are great. If you're doing something smaller, this will last you a long time. I'll probably just do two to be safe. No reason to risk ruining it. It, ruining it. But yeah, we'll tape it across there as well. And again, we know we get quite a bit of control with this tip, so. Oh, this off to that clean line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have to make sure to get this like level. Yeah, I have like a black line on here. Looks okay. Actually sticking really well. Can you reposition it? Now the uh, bottom of the screen. That is done pretty simply. That is done with two strips of cardboard stapled in between. Simple works. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull a bunch of staples and I might as well use that. That was a waste of time. It's also glued on there. So I'll just make my own. Yeah, I think this is actually from the box that the screen originally shipped in. So this should work, uh, work fine. Instead of sandwiching the screen with two pieces, I'm just going to sandwich this cardboard to the screen. That's really thick, I don't know. No, yeah, that worked fine. So this should Flip on, just like that. And of course I put the cap in that place, right there. All right. Yeah, that's crooked. Well, we can, we can fix that. I can redo the bottom once it's in the thing, or we'll see how it re-rolls up. But let's put it in the uh, frame now. So this side. So 
now I want to try and put some tension back on this this because it spun quite a bit when I took this cap off. Oh! So I can wind it up like this. And then once I've got it wind enough, just push the cap in. This is so much easier than I really thought it would have been. All right. That looks promising. The locking mechanism still works. Okay, well, I'm gonna hang it up first. to it going in. It's so clean. It's not like the paper layer all bunching up and making all kinds of noise. So obviously it is a bit crooked, but that's easy to fix. That is good enough for me. Seats well. Comes down well. Okay, that came out awesome. This thing came out so good. Backdrop 3.0, professionally printed. It's awesome. And it was actually really easy to put inside that screen. I mean, I had a few hiccups here and there, but basically the entire mechanism is built into that pole, at least for this model. So you don't really risk ruining anything by opening it up. And the screen was just glued on there, so that was easy to remove and attaching this one. I could have taken a little bit more care and doing some of the other things, but I was really kind of excited just to, to do it and seeing how easy it would actually be to do. And, now that I do know at least how the screen is put inside there, my big one, which is the exact same type, only a lot larger, I could get a big 120 inch bulb printed and I'd know exactly how to install it. So that's really something exciting I could do, probably way down the line. But right now, this came out so good, it retracts so nicely. I don't have the paper in there catching anymore. I think it works even better than when the original screen was in there because this is a little bit thinner. So the only complaints, obviously I installed it a bit crooked. I didn't cut my edges as clean as I could have. The bottom is a bit crooked. I have some pinching, which I, I could take some more time and, and try and clean that up some more. I mean, there are some wrinkles, but that's that gives it a bit more life maybe. I don't know, we can justify however we want, but we don't have tile lines anymore. It shouldn't be degrading as it goes in and out. This uh, vinyl print should hold up a lot longer than toner on paper. So this is a fantastic new addition to the channel and I think uh, intros and outros or anything on here is just gonna look a lot better. So um, that's exciting. Well, that is Backdrop 3.0. I don't see this one changing for quite a while. Although maybe there might be a Backdrop 3.05. I do have an idea about trying to paint the backside green and then that way I'd have a really convenient green screen that I could just flip the uh, screen around, pull it down, 
and have uh, chroma key capabilities is if I need to do any kind of talking head thing I want to do chroma key. That'd be really useful. Um, so I'm not sure how well that would would work. Let's see, if it's on the back, does the, does the image ever touch the back? Yeah. Nothing? Yeah. No. Why is this difficult? Yes, of course it does. So the front of the screen would touch the back. I'd have to make sure whatever type of paint I used wouldn't be coming off. I, I really don't know if that's going to be a possibility. And I do have some extra scraps of vinyl so I can test some different paints out on that. I could of course attach something to it. There's plenty of room now, but it, it rolls up so nice as it is. So, But then again, I really don't want to risk doing anything that will damage this. I mean, yes, it's awesome. It came out so good and I am so happy with it, but it's also a really great memento of what we've accomplished so far on this channel, which again, thank you all so much for. So if I feel I really need a green screen here, I can always just get a second screen and just mount it behind it, which would be all the more easy. That way I wouldn't have to mess around with pulling this one down, flipping it around, putting it back up. I can just pull down a second screen and have a green screen there. So that's probably the better way to go. But for now, my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nicky Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for Dwayne. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. No reason to risk ruining it. What, ruining it? No reason to risk damaging it any more than I already have cutting off the edges. <laughs>